Hello stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I have a special treat on my, wait, what? Wednesday tip video. I'm going to be doing a little series, at least I think I am, on repurposing, refurbishing, altering items. The gift giving season is upon us shortly, so... For once in my life, I think I'm getting a jump on this. I don't know about you, but I always wait till the last minute and then I'm scrambling. So starting in October, I think is a really great idea. And I'm gonna be showing you some different ideas to use for things that you may have around the house. Just a neat way to repurpose them for gift ideas, mainly. We'll see, we'll see where this goes. I don't know exactly where it's all gonna go yet, but I think it's gonna be pretty cool. So. What I have here is a little container that I'm repurposing using some of our Painted Autumn Designer Series paper, and then I love to have a matching card to go with stuff. Now, what am I gonna do with this? Well, I could put some candy in it. I could put some tissue paper in it. I could stamp the tissue paper up to match. I could put a gift card in there with a few like gourmet candies maybe. You can wrap some earrings or jewelry in tissue paper and put it in these containers. Just about anything. It's just the neat idea of how you are decorating up your container that makes the gift extra special. I'm also going to be showing you 25 different cards using the Painted Harvest stamp set. And I have featured this a lot on my blog. I've done a lot of projects with this. This is one of the coolest bundles I've run across in a long time. And I always know when you're seeing tons and tons of samples online or you're making tons and tons of cards, with a particular bundle, you know that bundle is easy to create with and it is well worth the investment to get it. So if you don't have the Painted Harvest bundle yet, I highly recommend it. This is the stamp set and if you buy the matching punch that matches up with these leaves here, it's a great accessory to have with the stamp set. You get a 10% discount when you buy them together. So if you don't have this one, I'm hoping by the end of my video, you're going to have to add it to your must have list because it's amazing. So let's get started. I'm going to show you what I did here. So I really like this container. <laughs> And I drink a lot of Crystal Light Raspberry Lemonade, so I buy the pitcher one so I can make the pitcher packets so I can make a pitcher at a time. And I thought, gosh, these are just perfect for doing something with, right? So you can pull this label right off of there and toss that, and then you have this nifty little container. So what am I gonna do with this container? Well, we have a buy three, get one free special right now on designer series paper. And I happen to have some extra painted autumn designer series paper. This is actually $11. Don't read that label. It's wrong. Um, it's shown in the holiday mini catalog with the painted harvest bundle. And the paper is absolutely beautiful. And I know I've shown this to you before. But if you're new to me, you might not have seen it yet. This is just great paper for fall projects and also for any time of year because it's got several patterns in here that have nothing to do with fall on the other side and that's one of the things that I love about Stampin' Up! paper is while it may be geared towards a certain holiday or time of the year the other side is very neutral that you can use for anything so you get double the options here. So this is the Painted Autumn Designer Series paper. You get 12 sheets of it in 12 by 12 for $11. And right now, like I said, when you buy three packs of Designer Series paper, you get the fourth pack free. So you get $11 worth free. It's a great deal. Um, there are a huge assortment of those papers included in this promotion. And if you head over to my blog, stampabove.com, you will find the promotion there that says buy three, get one free. Click on that and you'll be able to see which papers are included in that promotion. So we've got our container here. Anytime you're altering or repurposing a container like this, I like to take my ruler and I will measure and see. Okay, so I need my paper to be about six inches long and then I don't know, it's kind of hard to 
um, measure like this around something that's curved like this. So I cut my paper at six inches. I'm gonna use this beautiful design. And I wrapped it around my container, just like this. And then I figured out how long I needed it to be. So I like put my finger right here and then I measured, I've already cut this of course, I measured and this needs to be eight and a half inches long. So we've got six by eight and a half for this particular container. I got my fast fuse out here. I love this side of this paper too. Um, so it's like, oh, you can make something so pretty out of this, right? But I want some fall containers and I'm gonna just run some fast fuse down the edge and I'm gonna center this and wrap this right around. Now, one thing I want to tell you is you wanna make sure that you're getting this straight on your seam in the back and I want my seam to be right in the middle. Maybe you want yours on the side. It's your container, you do whatever you want. But before I push this down, I'm gonna make sure that I have this pulled tight around here and that it's straight, meaning that it matches up on the top and the bottom so it's not like kitty wampus. That's one of my favorite words. And isn't this cute? Now what about the top? Well, the top isn't quite as easy, but it's not really that big of a deal. We're going to take the top off and we are going to use a pencil or a pen. I guess it doesn't matter. If you want to erase it, you're going to use a pencil. I'm just using a pencil here and I'm going to draw some marks on the back of my paper and then I'm just going to cut it out a little bit smaller because this needs to go on the inside rim of my lid and that means it needs to be a little bit smaller than what I drew with the outside of the rim. Now this doesn't look that great, right? I'm not, I didn't, I didn't cut that out just perfectly oval. Don't worry about it. We're gonna put it right on our lid and we are going to just press it down in there. And if you're gonna make a bunch of these like I did, one thing you can do is you can make a template. Once you have one made, then you can draw a template from it so that you have just the right size if you're going to do more. Now you could just leave it in there with the edges squished down in, but what I prefer to do is pull it back out of there and trim those edges up just a little bit where I folded them, where I pushed them down into the rim. Because I'm kind of picky that way. <laughs> I know it seems kind of ridiculous, doesn't it? But that's the way I am. Okay, that fits pretty darn good. Here we go. And now we can decorate this any way we want. So one thing you could do, you can take another piece of the designer series paper because it all color coordinates and wrap a piece around. And again, I just taped it on the back. Then I used some of our jute trim. That's new in the holiday mini catalog. I wrapped that around there a couple times and taped it underneath. And then these stamp sets are awesome for doing little gifts like this because they're tags. Um, we've got a Just For You here, Eat, Drink, and Be Merry special delivery. I use the Merry Christmas and the Give Thanks for some of mine. These are great tags to put on the front or you can hang a tag from it, whatever, whatever works for you. Let me show you. So I've got this one, I thought this this is a swap card I received from a friend. I did not make this, so I don't wanna take credit for it, but I love the way it matches my little container, my gift container. And then I thought this one was stinking adorable. And where is this punch coming from? This is our everyday label punch. It is new in the mini catalog and it matches this stamp set and this stamp set. So we've got some great options for this. And instead of stamping and then punching out what I did, I used it as a little background here and did the give thanks that comes with the Labels to Love stamp set. Wrap the designer series paper around there and I have another great container. And then how about this matching card? So I love the little gift ensemble. Makes everything perfect, right? And then I've got one more to show you. Oh my gosh, isn't this gorgeous? 
I love this. This uses our foil snowflakes. You get 24 of them in a pack. You get two of each. You get two, I'm sorry, you get 12 gold and 12 silver. And what I love about these is they're foil, okay? The back side is white, so if you wanted this to be a different color, you could sponge color onto it. It would hold the color and you can make these snowflakes any color you want. We have silver and gold, and I just used a silver one in the background here with the Labels to Love stamp set. And this is Soft Sky, and this paper is coming from our Christmas Around the World, which has some really fun patterns in it. Here's the pattern, and if you'll notice, I just stamped basic gray snowflakes in the background right on my designer series paper. That's a great option to do when you have something that isn't quite as busy as, say, these nutcrackers. You can stamp images on here, too. Use some of our silver edged ribbon and a little bit of our mini sequins here to really dress this up. And I think I am going to, at Christmas time, I always make homemade caramels. And so I am going to use this container to give little gifts of homemade caramels to my friends and family. They're gonna love this. And it took me minutes to create this, so it's super, super easy. And here's a card that I made to go with this particular container. When I get this finished, I'll put a label on it. But here's a card that I made using the Painted Harvest stamp set. And again, I've got gold mini sequins here and some of our crushed curry ribbon and some of our burlap ribbon here to dress that up a little bit. Again, same stamp set, Painted Harvest. All of this is Painted Harvest. So I hope you like these containers. I think they're pretty cool. It's a great way to keep them out of the landfill. And um, I think that my recipients are really gonna love the extra touch and the effort that I went to to make these for them. Are you guys ready for a card tour? I have 25 different cards using the Painted Harvest bundle. I am so excited to show these to you. So we've got this one. Let's see if I did anything. Ooh, I did something inside. So I stamped my flowers here, and then I did this inside. I made this card so, so long ago, I didn't remember. Did I do something inside? I did do something inside. Here's our designer series paper. And then we have this one. I think this was made by my friend Candy Michaels. So again, she used the Starburst Punch on here, which is a great option for that flower also. I believe she also made this one. I love the little acorn down here. Here's another one that just looks totally different. The flower isn't on here, just the leaves in the designer series paper, so that's cool. Here we have some nice sunflowers. I believe Dina Rico made this card. I'm not gonna tell you all the people because I'm not really sure, but that's really pretty and easy. You could whip a whole bunch of these up. Here's one that's pretty nifty. It's got this tag in it. They used our um, a label punch here to punch a hole in it and slide a tag right in there that pulls out. So isn't that fun? Another gorgeous card, here's that jute trim again, and we've got some of our, oh, I can't remember the names of these, faceted embellishments, how about that? <laughs> They're beautiful. They're in the big catalog. Here's another one, and another one, and here comes a beautiful blue one and we've got the eclipse technique that I've shown you with the art is raised up and our crinkled knight of navy ribbon there that's pretty and how about this one the flower is actually a Christmas wreath and the little polka dots that you would put in the center of the flower can be the little holly berries on the wreath again another fabulous idea so not only do we have a fall stamp set we have stamp set that can be used for Christmas too. And of course summer, because you can make your flowers any color you want them. This is pretty summery. I think Tammy Stumpf made this one, and she actually put um, Wink of Stella on her flowers. Can you see how they glimmer? They're beautiful. And here comes another one. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. 
Another one, this one doesn't use the flower, but it uses the designer paper and the leaf punch, so that's really pretty too. Here's one that Rose made, and I love these little acorns, and what a great layout, it's very unique. Here comes a pretty card from Dina, and the thing that I really liked was the little strip of gold glimmer paper down under her flower, and she also used Wink of Stella on her flower, very pretty, and the designer paper from the Painted Autumn, so that's really unique. Another gorgeous one with some Wink of Stella on that flower again. Here's that designer paper again. Here is one of my favorites. This is made by Kathy Miller, and she used a scallop circle punch and then the starburst punch here with the designer paper and the wood planks background embossing folder. And then look at this. Isn't that fun? Love this. Here comes another gorgeous one. This is that same pack of designer paper. This is another one of my favorites. I love the use of the fresh fig with the Knight of Navy. Those two colors go together beautifully with the crumb cake. And again, the plank, the wood plank embossing folder in the background. And these are little wooden embellishments. Love those too. How about this one? We've got our musical specialty paper in the background and then the flower is a Christmas wreath that is the O in the word joy. So creative, love that. You guys know I've shown this to you. This is my hello card and it's just a hello, I miss you. And that also uses a form of the eclipse with the large letter framelits, love this. Here's another beautiful one. I love the way the, um, there's a lot of love going on here, isn't there? Are you sick of hearing me say that? I'm sorry, but I do love it. Um, the leaves are punched out of our vellum cardstock, so that's really pretty. Again, with the designer series paper here on the edge, what a beautiful touch. Here's another eclipse with the fall. I've shown you guys this card before. Gorgeous, gorgeous sunflowers. And here's one that I think is really, really cool. Barb made this one, my friend Barb, and this uses the black and white striped ribbon and she's tucked it under the card halfway. So you just have this little like film strip looking image sticking out, but it's actually ribbon. And I love the gray and white of this card. Such a, such a unique idea. So there you go. We have repurposed some containers. I showed you 25 gorgeous cards using this bundle, and I gave you a Christmas idea that I love, love, love. I can't wait to fill these up with goodies. Thanks, you guys, for stopping by. If you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, please don't hesitate to pop me an email. I'd be happy to mail you some catalogs. You can find my blog right here. Email address is kelly at a stamp above .com. And again, if you do not have this Painted Harvest bundle, you really need to get it. It is amazing. You will not ever regret that decision. You can hop right on my blog if you need to place an order. There's an online order button in the right-hand side. And also some great stamp sets that go with the Everyday Label Punch. Merry Little Labels and Labels to Love. Here's that punch again. This is a great one to have. Don't forget to click down here on the subscribe now button so you don't miss any future videos coming out. Not really sure what I have in store for you next week for, wait, what? Wednesday? Um, but I think it'll be pretty cool. I'm going to be thinking about this and figuring out some more ideas to repurpose. I know I have some frames that my daughter picked up at Goodwill, and maybe I'll do something with that. I don't know, but you check back here on next Wednesday. Make sure you join me Friday for my Feature Friday video. I have um, a really cool project coming out then, too. Thanks again for stopping in to watch my video. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your week. Bye-bye.